I can't leave this golf simulator until I drive a golf ball 100,000 yards. For every 10,000 yards I hit the ball, there's gonna be a different challenge. They're gonna start out easy and then progressively get harder from there. We got a long road ahead of us. Let's get right to it. All right, here we go. First swing, we gotta get ahead here with the with the regular driver before we start working in the challenges. You're probably thinking, Josh, why are you doing this? Well, number one, I just hit 100,000 subscribers, so I figured I'd do this to just say thank you. And then number two, I've actually been struggling with the driver quite a bit, and I figured 400 shots might help straighten that out. So obviously I can't hit one ball 100,000 yards, but I did some math if I hit 400 golf balls, 250 yards, that equals 100,000. So 400 shots is a goal, but honestly, I think we can do it in less. And early predictions here, I think we can do it in 375 shots. Also, just not even remotely worried about where these balls go. Dude, I can already feel it. My back is about to take a beating. Let's see if we can get a 300 yard carry. Oh, that one could be good. Might be a little low though. Oh, 294. I feel like Bryson right now in a speed training session. Oh, there it is, 300, baby. Three bills. And just like that, we are done with the first 10,000 yards. Just a reminder, this is all carry distance is what we're basing everything off of. All right, so that's the first 10,000 yards. The average driving distance there was 272 yards. So we're way ahead of schedule, totally fine. But we have our first challenge. First challenge here is gonna be hitting with this old school Hickory Walter Hagen driver. I don't even know if we can hit this thing 250 yards, but we'll see. Oh, it's gonna be low. 210. Okay, that was not well hit, and we still got 210, so. Oh, I think that's gonna be good. So I think I underestimated how far you can actually hit these persimmon woods. Granted, it was obviously harder than the regular driver, but uh, if you focus and actually hit it center of the club face, it goes pretty far. I think we were driving some of these, you know, 260, 270, which keeps us above that 250 average that we were looking for. Still ahead of schedule with the persimmon. Right now I'm averaging 252 yard drop. These challenges do get harder as we go here. This is definitely one of the easier ones. We're tucking the hood in. Shout out to Roback. Love these t-shirt hoodies, but for what we're doing right now, I feel like it needs to be tucked in, get a little more aerodynamic. Click that link below. Get yourself a little Robeasy. 15% off your first purchase. Check it out, Roback. Feels like we're catching a little speed slot here. Oh yeah, brother. My back is going to be torched. A few more swings with the persimmon here and we finish another 10,000 yards. Ladies and gentlemen, we are well on our way. 78 shots in, 21,000 yards. Our average carry distance with the persimmon was 251. Next challenge is gonna be turning up the wind speed on track, man. So we're gonna turn the wind speed up to eight miles per hour. Okay. I felt good. 255, all right, I felt like I got a hold of that one. So I know you're probably thinking, Josh, why'd you only crank it up to eight miles per hour when that's pretty slow? You're right, it's not the fastest, but you know, challenges get harder as we go. We can't just start out as hard as we possibly can. We got plenty of challenges left, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> eight miles per hour was pretty hard. I had a hard time hitting any of these drives over like 260. This one was also kind of tough just because it took so much out of me. I felt like I had to swing as hard as I possibly could every single time i just didn't get any relief ah this has been the hardest one so far um it's just tough tough to catch a square i need to like turn it over and not have as much spin on it heart rate's at 112. shout out the garmin watch 265 is that the longest one so far ah big one and just like that there's another 10,000. next challenge all right we're switching it up here we're going iron but not just any iron this is the Tacoma 101 U iron. So it's their utility iron. It's like a driving iron for off the tee. It's got a graphite shaft in there. This is the two iron version of it. They also make a three and a four. Tough part about the utility iron is I basically have to hit it perfect in order for it to go over 250 yards, which is tough because we want to stay around that 250 mark in order to get it under 400 shots. I'm not going to bore you guys with every single shot from this utility iron, but uh, we basically just crawled our way across that 10,000 mark. It was definitely the slowest one so far. Oh no! Boom. There's 10,000 with Tacoma 101 U2 iron. Fueling up a little bit. We got Chomps Bar. Don't need that. Next challenge. So now we got we got a challenge. Every single 10,000 yards, we got a new challenge. I wrote this one down. It's in my notes. One leg. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I just, if you guys didn't know, I had surgery on my knee last year. So it's not like 100%. Let's just say that. Okay, I like that first strike. Okay. 237, we're gonna need to pick that up a little bit, but I think we can do this. Oh, that's a good one. 
Dude, we're, we're catching a feel, baby. Get over 250. Dude, that's gonna be 260. 276! I honestly expected hitting up one leg to be a little bit harder. I feel like once you got the, the balance down or the weight transfer or lack of weight transfer, not saying that I you know hit any of these like that far, but I expected to lose a lot of distance hitting from one leg, but we really didn't lose that much. I, if any, I think we actually gained a little bit on that 250 average. That's 10,000 on one leg. I actually kind of enjoyed that, but also glad that that's over here. Uh, the next challenge we're gonna do is hitting from the knees. 10,000 yards hitting from the knees. Let's get right to it. All right, here we go. From the knees. Got these pillows here, cause I'm soft. Uh, this one was the hardest one, without a doubt, so far. The first like 15, 20 shots, I was just hitting the ground right behind the ball, which was taking so much steam off my club head speed. Yeah, the ball literally was just like kind of popping up in the air, maybe going 200 yards. Okay, I'll let the legs stretch out a little bit. Let the legs stretch out. Uh, yes. Yup. Towards the end, we started to figure it out though. Once I started like shifting my weight a little bit forward and kind of like diving into it. It started to get a little bit easier, started to be able to get a little bit more torque, a little bit more juice behind that ball. Uh, definitely losing a ton of distance on our 250 yard average. We're at 9,800 yards. This should be the last one off the knees. Ah! I think that'd be good. 246, let's go. It's a good one. Appreciate that encouragement, Maggie. Thanks for putting all those golf balls on the tee. Dubs in the chat for Mags. That one took a lot out of me. Upper body, rotationally, back was definitely getting pinched on that quite a bit. Honestly, right now, I feel like it's more, it's more mental than anything. Like, yeah, just knowing that I have more challenges to go. Next challenge, we've got blindfolded. I've been kind of dreading this one. Blindfold, here we go. Here we go. Blindfold shot number one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna line it up, and then the only thing I'm doing is swinging with the blindfold on. I felt, I mean, felt really good. I think that's gonna be fine though. But turns out hitting with your eyes closed actually isn't that hard. Literally just swing like you normally would. Midway through this honestly was a little bit worried. You guys might think that I was faking it and could see the ball, but legitimately could not see anything. Muscle memory. You just swing a golf club. I would encourage you guys to try it. I think you'd be surprised at how much easier it is than you think. Ah! Ah! Let's go, baby! Ah! Yes. That's gonna do it. That's gonna do it! I get 290 with my eyes closed. Holy cow. This is a lot. <laughs> I did not think it would be this hard. Ah! Surprised I haven't snapped the head off my driver yet by like hitting it on the hosel or something. Oh my! Did it go underneath? Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good, that's why they have that there. Just foam behind there, shark Tacoma. With our driver still intact, we press on. Ladies and gentlemen, this challenge is almost over. At this point, we're about five hours into the challenge and we are running on straight fumes. Ah. After this challenge, we've only got about 30,000 yards left, which seems very doable. We're on the back half. Unfortunately, I may have underestimated the next challenge. Yes. I think that should do it. Holy cow, that was tough. We're 286 shots in, 70,000 yards. Ladies and gentlemen, I said challenges were gonna get harder as we go, and I meant that. We got a little flat stick here, putter, we're going. 10,000 yards with a putter. Let's get right done. Ah. Shocker, the putter was extremely difficult to get anything behind. The other hard part was I was just leaned over so much that my back was killing me. It's like I was bending over to pick something up, but I was also trying to swing something as hard as I possibly could at the same time. Just a recipe to just pinch those lower vertebrae in the back. Physically, this took a massive toll on the body. That's gonna be, that's 300 yards. That's literally 300 yards. It also just felt like I was at this one for forever. It just took so long to get to 10,000 yards. Here's a quick time lapse of how many shots it took me to get this done. I think it was 50 shots in total with the putter. We averaged about 200 yards. Back was absolutely beat up at the end of this, as were the hamstrings. We also bent the entire neck of the putter just for hitting it so much. Ah! 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 Oh! 
we're currently at 337 shots. So we don't have a ton of room to work with. We've got to get the driver going and we've got to get it going quick in order to get this under 400 shots. So we're gonna fire up the drive piece here. We're gonna maybe turn on some music, maybe drink another Celsius. Okay, so our prediction to get it in under 375 shots is out the window, that's not happening. But that 400 mark is still within striking distance. All we gotta do is just hit all these drives over 280 yards. Now we're at 90,000 yards. We got 10 more thousand yards to go. Uh, we have 35 shots to work with, and basically we have to hit every single drive from here on out over 285 yards. Okay, we got like 35 shots to work with. It's all come down to this. Body's hurting, mind is hurting, everything's hurting. All we gotta do is just dig deep, hit these 30 shots over 280 yards, and we'll seal the deal under 400 shots. Flash out here only needs to go over 227 yards or something like that. Thank you guys for uh, 100,000 subscribers. If you're watching this and you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Let's hit our last shot here, 100,000 yards. Oh yeah, it's probably slice into the trees. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.